Uh, plus a good afternoon, soon to be evening for this Wednesday, March 27th card here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. 26 minutes away, 5.55, eight races to beat a fast as always. How about these carryover fans? The third race starting the 20 cent single six jackpot. Nearly $118,000 in that carryover. Nearly $11,000 for the Super High Five carryover in the Wednesday nightcap. Closing week for the 2024 season. Let's get into the changes. In the Wednesday opener, a couple of scratches, five and seven. Shosha and El Pekin, five and seven out of the opener. As always, the opener will kickstart the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Quick start, King of Kentucky. Look at him fly away, quarter horsing out of the starting gate. King of the Rainbow, second. Rivera Node is third, then Heston. This point in time from the inside, they stack up for the second spot. Neo King second last, and Fast Felix is the early trailer. King of Kentucky with the killer crossover leads by better than two and a half lengths. Heston sharing second with Rivera Note. King of the Rainbow isolated in the fourth position. Six lengths defined, heading into the third. Better than two to this point in time with Neo King. Another length and a half to Fast Felix. 22 and three fifths. And look at King of Kentucky really rolling early this afternoon. He's the leader by nearly six lengths at the quarter pole. Rivera Note continues to battle with Heston. King of the Rainbow still in the fourth spot. Then Neo King, Fast Felix, this point in time. King of Kentucky meant business. ASAP out of the starting gate. Look at this huge lead past the eighth pole. Real races for second. Neo King to the extreme outside rolls into that spot. But how about King of Kentucky? A good looking gate to wire winner. Neo King second. Heston will hang on for third. King of the Rainbow fourth for the Superfecta. King of Kentucky, how about him this afternoon, early evening soon? King of Kentucky, gate to wire, 110 and 79, 100. It's just quarter horsed out of that starting gate and never looked back, the easiest of winners. Good race for the balance, no doubt about the winner, a powerful, good-looking winner of the Wednesday opener. Number nine, King of Kentucky, Alvin Jimenez, nine to two and a little bit of an upset. Eight, Neo King, second, third place for Heston. Fourth place three, King of the Rainbow, 9843. Unofficially in the Wednesday opener. King of Kentucky is in the winner's circle. Big time effort from him this evening. Four year old chestnut gelding by Spites Town out of the distorted humor mare, Royal Ancestry. Run by Daniel F. O'Donnell, winning a trainer's Claude at Brownfield the third, winning jockey Alvin Jimenez. Winner was bred in Kentucky by High Clear Incorporated. Race one is official. King of Kentucky, an easy winner. 9.8 exact to $50.14. 9.84 trifecta, $69.46. 10 cent super, $77.77. 9.843, the winning combination. And then the dollar super trifecta, $777.75. Second race will kickstart the early pick four. One tartan. Green and 12 solvent both scratch. 13 draws in off the also eligible list, Silent Secretary. Silent Secretary, she will pick up the services of Colby Hernandez. Or Real Queen and seven blue guitar carry two pounds over the weight, 11 I want ruffles, one pound over, five positive message. The ownership line should read LS Racing Stable. And that is Louis Seglin's LS Racing Stable. Second race, 23 minutes away, 625 is the most time. And there they go. Positive message is out for the lead with Blue Guitar and Solair. And here's the lone mare, Miss Diamond Red, showing some speed from the inside. Positive message, the quickest into the first turn. Miss Diamond Rich is up close into the second spot is Blue Guitar. Solair comes away running in the fourth position. After her, from the inside, races a real queen. Pretty Lily, the favorite to her outside. Lady Free Will, three wide, silent secretary, runs with them four deep, about eight or nine lengths off the pace. Almost three lengths back to Trey Sheik. She races with English, and I Want Ruffles is the last of 11, and Positive Message is the first. She leads by a length and a quarter. From the outside is Blue Guitar, stalking smartly Miss Diamond, Rich's third, Solaire's in the fourth spot, three and a half for four to five. 
Another length and a half back to Real Queen and Pretty Lily. And running with them races Lady Freewill and Silent Secretary. They're starting to bunch up. Pretty Lily now about seven lengths off the lead. Passing her is Trey Sheik. After that is English. Did I want Ruffle still at the back? In the meantime, Blue Guitar has come away with the lead. Solaire's under a drive trying to bridge the gap. Silent Secretary's all in. Trey Sheik is circling rivals to the far outside. Let's see if she can sustain this pin. She's a little wide off the turn, but she has a lot of momentum getting within two lengths, and she's the one to recognize to the outside. Here comes Trey Sheik. Trey Sheik's making her move for the top spot. Blue Guitar's under a vigorous drive. From the far outside is English late on the scene. Trey Sheik, English from the inside. Blue Guitar comes back. Here's Blue Guitar. Blue guitar. Boy, Trey Sheik, what happened, girl? You had the race. You didn't want your photo taken. After that, it's English and Solaire. What a tough beat if you got your money on Trey Sheik. If you can bet at the top of the lane, you're going to the bank and you're withdrawing everything. Maybe she's a little camera shy, doesn't want her photo taken. Maybe she waits on rivals once she hits the front. No excuses, though. How about Seven Blue Guitar, who stayed very determined and came back on? Seven Blue Guitar and six Trey Sheik, both 11 to 1 in the wagering. Three English was really taking off in the late stages. 139 and 73 one hundreds. Here's the slow-mo again. You'll see Seven Blue Guitar paddle back along the inside. Six Trey Sheik had the race, couldn't seal the deal. Third place, three English. Fourth place, eight Solaire. Some big numbers here for a good looking Superfecta. The second race unofficially, seven six, three eight. Blue Guitars in the winner's circle. Blue Guitar is a three year old of a Philly by Air Force Blue out of the Mineshaft Mare. Coconut Row. Owned by Lisa Tymeyer Stable LLC. Jeff Engler, the winning edge trader, winning jockey, Adam Biskitza. It was bred in Kentucky by Joe B. Mulholland Jr., Joe, John P. Mulholland, and Karen Mulholland. So we got Joe Mulholland Jr., John Mulholland, and Karen Mulholland, the winning breeders, Blue Guitar. All right, here are the prices at 10 cents super $1,826.54, big dollar super. 7 6 exact to $251.92. The uh, 50 cent try, $253.52. Nine seven early double get back to that one. How about the dollar super? $18,265.44. $18,265.44. Nine seven early double, $62.06. Third race, we'll start our 20 cent single six at jackpot. That carry over better than $117,000. Two and four, both scratch from the third. Deus Ex Machina and Ferris Assault. Two and four out of the third. Ready for the 20 cent single six jackpot. And there they go. Good start for Applegate. Eternal Bliss and Study Committee also quickly into stride. Applegate is the speediest. Kick Rocks Kid has the fourth position. Jahez from the inside, then Enjoyment. We're going to Midnight Joker with Cactus Kevin. So with the lead, it is Applegate. Applegate builds up three lengths to Eternal Bliss. Enjoyment is five lengths off the pace, taking over third. Two and a half clear of Moonlight Joker. From the far outside is Study Committee. And we're going to Kick Rocks Kid. And towards the tail of the field, Races Cactus Kevin and Jahez. Applegate freewheeling with this top spot. Better than five. Enjoyment makes a move into second, and he's trying to close in. Applegate and Enjoyment are one, two, and Eternal Bliss is up close to the action. Two and a half for three to five near the quarter pole. The others have a lot of work to do. Kick Rocks Kid hitting his best stride, taking over fourth. Cactus Kevin follows in his footsteps. Jahez tries to rally along the inside. Applegate has the lead, although it has diminished to a length and a half. From the outside, races Eternal Eternal Bliss, enjoyment from the inside. Applegate still with the lead near the 16th, and he still has something left. Applegate has the lead. No catching Applegate. So the favorite gets home in the first leg of the 20-cent single six. Jackpot. Enjoyment second. Kick Rocks Kid closing in for third. Right there with him, Jahez, from a tiring Eternal Bliss. Two sprint races on the Wednesday card have resulted in aggressive tactics out of the starting gate, resulting in gate-to-wire victories. Number six, Applegate all the way under the leading jockey, the Axeman, Luan Machado. 
the five to two favorite. Eight enjoyment also five to two. So the top two in the wagering are one two under the line. One eleven and fifty seven one hundreds. Photo for third and fourth. Please hold all tickets. Applegate is in the winner's circle. Four-year-old Meg Elding by Majestic City out of the Stormy Atlantic Mare by Stormy Elaine. Owned by Clark Brewster, winning trader Steve Asmussen, winning jockey the Axeman Luan Majado. Applegate was bred in New York by Clark Brewster. And the third race is official, 6891. That exacted $33.14. 10 cents superfected, $90.64. Dollar superfected, $906.46. 9.76 early pick three, $116.82. 689 trifecta, $68.71. 76 daily double, $52.83. Fourth race will start our late pick five, eight and 13, both scratched. Broken Justice and Cooperstown. 14 draws in off the also eligible list. Three Groom Lake, a jockey change to Joshua Morales. 10 Silent Spectre, one pound over the weight. 23 minutes away, 725 is the post time. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And the winner's circle is number two, Dark Side. Dark Side is a four-year-old gray Arona gelding by Zofany out of the Dalka Honey Mare. Shreyas, Irish bred. Qatar Racing LLC owns a bred in Walsh conditions, winning jockey the Axeman Luan Machado back-to-back -back for the Axeman. The winner was bred in Ireland by Hamwood Stud Unlimited Company. And tonight's fourth race is official, 2-9 a 10-5. That's super effect of $164.13 for the dime. The exact of $106.06. The trifecta $115.12. The Axeman 6-2 double, $11.79. Dollar super effect of $1,641.37. 7-6-2 pick three, $93.63. Fifth race, 24 minutes away, 7.55 is the post time. Scratch two, Prattle. Eight L's Dancer, two pounds over, 11 on Deary, three pounds over the weight, 7.55 is the post time for the fifth, commencing early pick four. And there they go, stumbling start on Deary. 
Dan's Candy Girl with a swift start from the inside. Ava Storm is also there. Here's one of the debutantes, Els Dancer, emerging as the quickest. Els Dancer has the lead from Ava Storm. Sweet Lily Bet is there along with Crushed Ice. Magnolia Wind advances from the far outside. Sassy Walker, about four lengths from the front. Dan's Candy Girl broke alertly. She's five lengths off the lead with Don't Cross Bodica. After them is Tricky Fury. Anderi, after that stumbling start towards the tail of the field, headed by Meat and Secret. Els Dancer has the lead at the 3 8. Els Dancer by nearly four lengths. From the inside is Sweet Lily Bet. There's Sassy Walker with a nice move into second. Sassy Walker cuts into the leader's margin. Sassy Walker with momentum at the quarter pole, getting within a length of Els Dancer. Sweet Lily Bet is third. They're going to Tricky Fury. Dan's Candy Girl from the rail. 3 16ths to travel. Els Dancer. Sassy Walker right alongside with momentum. Here's Sassy Walker putting her head in front. Els Dancer's back to second. Farther out in the field races, Dan's Candy Girl currently fifth, going to try to make a move for third, held by Tricky Fury. Sassy Walker on the claim, a happy hour for the Axeman, three in a row, Luan Machado. Sassy Walker from Els Dancer, checking in third, Tricky Fury, photo required for four. How about that, fans? Rapid rewards for the connections. t and &E Racing, Taylor Logan stepping up with the 30K recently. Step up to this bait at 50. Rapid reward, Sassy Walker. Happy hour for the Axeman, Luan Machado. That is three in a row. 110 and 51 one hundreds the final time. Number six, Sassy Walker. You can see she had all that momentum working through the turn. She's the unofficial winner. Eight L's Dancer in her first start at 52 to one. Heck of an effort from her. Third place, number 10, Tricky Fury. Photo required for fourth. Kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. And the winner's circle is number six, Sassy Walker. Rapid rewards for the connections. Four-year-old of A Philly by Munnings out of the Great Britain Mayor Sassini, owned by T&D Racing. Winning trader Jesus Esquivel. A happy hour for the Axeman, Luan Machado. Three in a row. Winner was right in Kentucky by John and Frank Penn. And tonight's fifth race is official. Six, eight, 10, one, top four finishers. Early pick four, $550, six cents. Six, eight, exact at $342, 44 cents. Six, eight, 10, trifecta, $770, 14 cents. Two, six, Axeman, a double $18, 44 cents. Dollar super, 7,200, $5, 28 cents. Axeman pick three, 626, $33.35. Early pick five, $1,626.54. Four out of five, $21.10. Race six, scratch both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. Three Secor, two pounds over the weight, eight Royal Edge, one pound over, 11 no violence, two pounds over. Race six, starting early, pick three, 22 minutes away at 825. And there they go. Casino Annie, one of the first to show up. But here is Royal Lich picking it up. Saburo's bow is fleet of foot from the inside. Summer Ice comes away in third. Get by has the fourth position from the far outside. Here's Sybarite in the fifth spot. Then so and tap Satis. Casino Annie from off the pace now. No violence. Races with Ella Francis. Secord from between runners. And my shadow's light is the last of all. With the lead, Royal Lich and Saburo's Val, they are side by side. The lone mare get by. Gets a nice tracking trip in the clear. Length it after two to find heading into the far turn run. Sybarite is three lengths off the pace. Saburo's Val now with the lead. So when tap three and a half for so off the lead. Ella Francis continues to improve position along the inside. Four lengths to find at the quarter pole. And here comes Get By. Get By is making her move for the top spot. Get By to tackle Saburo's vow. Ella Francis is in the battle trying to work away from the inside. Sybarite has her covered up. Ella Francis muscles into a spot in the three path with the lead. Get By. Ella Francis has her in her sights with momentum. Here's Ella Francis up to the front. Ella Francis puts her head in front of Get By who has nothing in response. Ella Francis. Get by second and so and tap. No violence is in a photo for fourth with Sybarite. After them, races Sadis. Nice ride by Gerardo Corrales. Never easy when you're along the inside in a six furlong affair here at Turfway Park trying to make up ground. Much easier when you 
bolt out of that starting gate and assume the top spot. She was able to make up ground throughout the running of the sixth, and Mr. Corrales worked her into a good spot. It was a nice gutsy move, and it paid off for Ella Francis, who wins going away from the 10 get by. Third place nine, so and tap. Got kind of tight there for fourth between the 11 no violence and the two civil right. The final running time, 112 and 5 100s. Make sure to hold all tickets. Ella Francis, her 15th look is a winning look on this class drop. The most experienced maiden from the six gets to the winner circle. Four year old gray road filly by Cairo Prince out of the Congrats Mare Stop the Wedding. Owned by Hooli Racing Stable LLC, D. Whitworth Beckman, the winning edge trader, winning jockey, Gerardo Carrellis. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Robert Tillier, along with Dr. Chet Blackie and Nikki Drio. Exact of $38, the trifecta $78.97, the double six one twenty three dollars 9 10 cent super, $137.13. Dollar super vecta, $1,371.39. Two six one pick three, $35.35. Race seven is the Wednesday featured event. Phillies and mares, three year olds and up. Allowance conditions with an optional tag of $25,000. Seven and 14 both scratch. Crack a lacking and no tapping out. 13 draws in, picks up the services of Gerardo Corrales. This race will begin our late daily double 21 minutes away at 8.55. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Oh, Babe is showing some pace. Also, there is Mystic Pleasure on the comeback bid. Adriana from the far outside amongst the leaders. And so, too, is Ruthless Rua. Candles in the fifth spot. Abitibi assumes that position, advancing into fourth from the inside. After that, we have Proto Magic. And racing with her is Atlantic Strike, advancing along the rail. And further out in the field races Ladan. Right now is second last. Miss Temptation is the last of all. Mystic Pleasure, a bit to be, and oh, babe, three across the track. Driana races with Ruthless Rue and Atlantic Strikes going well enough along the inside. Three by three, these first six in the run to the quarter pole. Candle tries to advance, and here comes Proto Magic. One from the outside with three and a half to find. After that, races right now, Ladon, Red Hot Genie, and towards the tail, Miss Temptation, Mystic Pleasure, Atlantic Strikes begging for room. Oh, Babe's running a, running a big one. A bit to be's also there. Here comes Ruthless Rua, and farther out on the field is Driana. A bit to be, Ruthless Rua. Ruthless Rua's really closing in. Look at this mad scramble to the wire. Ruthless Rua and Driana. Boy, it's a tight one. Driana or Ruthless Rua also closing in. Proto Magic with right now, then a bit of B. Boy, they were coming from everywhere inside the final furlong. This one got pretty tight on the line. Look at that slow mo. Driana at six to one. Looks like maybe she's there, but Ruthless Rua really took a late lunge at that wire. 110 and 72 100. It's a pretty cool Wednesday feature here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Photo will determine the winner. Driana is in the winner's circle. Driana is a four year old chestnut filly by Cantharis out of the Medaglia d'Oro mare. Marcelina d'Oro, owned by Jayanne Stables LLC. Ben Colebrook, the winning trainer, back to back for Gerardo Carrellas. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings, LLC. Ladies and gentlemen, for interference near the quarter pole, the stewards have disqualified nine Ruthless Rua from second back to third. New numbers, 13, 10, 9, 2. 10, a Proto Magic has been moved up from third to second, so our new numbers are 13 and 10, 9, 2. Once again, number nine, Ruthless Rua, originally finished second, has been disqualified for interference near the quarter pole with number 10, Proto Magic. New numbers, 13, 10, 9, 2. 
Exacto, $76.80. Trifecta, $109.97. 113 Daily Double, Corrales Double, $64.88. 10 cent super, $747.21. Dollar super vecta, $7,472.10. 6113 pick three, $88.20. All right, the nine is Ruthless Rua with the orange cap, and you can see Proto Magic to her outside. Blue and yellow blinkers, a blue cap. You're going to see number nine, Ruthless Rua, make significant contact with 10 Proto Magic. of those gals going for that spot. You're going to see the 9 Ruthless Rua really comes out on the 10 Proto Magic. Look at the 9. She gets all sideways making interference there with 10 Proto Magic. Stewart's felt 10 Proto Magic was cost a chance at a proper placing. That's resulting in the disqualification. How good was Proto Magic this evening? After all of that, she comes with a big run. Once again, looking at 9 Ruthless Rua with the orange cap. To her immediate outside is the 10 Proto Magic. There's the contact. Nine, Ruthless Rua trying to go for a hole that really isn't there. Both the nine and the ten were both going for that. And nine, Ruthless Rua makes significant contact with ten Proto Magic, causing interference, causing Axel Concepcion to check his mouth and the opinions of the stewards. A proper placing was affected, thus resulting in the disqualification of nine, Ruthless Rua. Race 8, 2, 11 and 13 all scratched. 14 draws in off the also eligible list. 1 and 8, 1 pound over. 4 this all defend. 4 pounds over the way to Super High 5 carryover. $10,811. The nightcap in about 21 minutes at 9.29. Just about situated, ready for the nightcap. And there they go. And showing plenty of pace is Dreaming of Smarty with Louisiana. Most stubborn kind of fellas also into the race. Indefatigable comes away running in fourth. He races outside of Poor Me a Double. Topping advances to their inside. No bang, no boom is from the inside. After him races Malibu Time along with Jareth. Towards the tail of the field is Takafumi along with this I'll defend. Dreaming of Smarty has the lead. Three parts of a length to Louisiana. Most stubborn kind of fella sharp. He's into the race along the inside. About a length and a quarter off. Now advancing in the clear comes Jareth. Jareth makes a big move, and Malibu time has to bide his time and wait for an opportunity, crying out for room behind the four leaders. And Topping is also there from the inside with the green silks. Then we're going to Indefatigable, who has four lengths to make up as Jareth is trying to come away with the lead. Louisiana will quickening with him. And there's Stubborn Kind of Fella. Stubborn Kind of Fella in the two path. Jareth is four deep. Louisiana will splits them. Topping has a look along the inside. And Topping's trying to get the lead. And Topping has come away with the lead. I'm looking at the board. And he's 82 to 1. Holy Toledo in the Wednesday nightcap with Topping to blow it all up. After him was Jareth and Louisiana. We'll need a photo for fourth. Right there was Stubborn Kind of Fella along with a late closing Takafumi. But how about this? Topping 82 to 1 in the nightcap. Topping means extra toppings on the pizza late night if you got him at 82 to 1. How about that big stunner? 110 and 2100. Horse had a little look through the turn, traveling well enough with that inside positioning. Jane Elliott just rode that rail, running all the way to the wire, and it is topping in a huge upset here in the Wednesday nightcap. Photo for the balance. Make sure to hold all tickets. Topping is in the winner's circle. Eight-year-old Abay Gelding by Country Day out of the Flattermare Frosting. Seventh career victory for Topping, owned by Penny Lauer. Michael Lauer, the winning a trader, winning jockey. Jane Elliott, winner was bred in Indiana by owner and trader, Michael and Penny Lauer. All right, the nightcap is official, 7 14 5, 3, 9. That exact $1,635.28. Trifecta, $3,861.09. Late pick four, $17,924.50. 10 cent super, $2,808.71. A dollar super, $28,087.13. Look at these payoffs. Late pick five, $92,311.45. Four out of five, $78.23. Two carryovers into the Thursday card. They are both getting up there. Nearly 25 Gs for that super high five. 
13.7 late double is a good one, $424.65. 20-cent single six pick six carry over is nearly $170,000, $168,933.33. If we can get to Saturday with that kind of carryover increasing, we will have a huge mandatory day. 113.7, late pick three, $4,430.19. Here's the super high five carryover, $24,625.84. Three days left here at Turfway Park for the 2024 season. Nearly 170 k for the 20 cent single six jackpot tomorrow. That carryover, nearly 25,000 for the super high five. 555 first post. Sure hope you did have a great Wednesday. We'll be back at it again tomorrow when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.